hello everyone. I am your homeboy once again. You might be wondering where I am. I am still at Kensington Park, London, but the setting is more like that of an African rural area, like somewhere in Nairobi. We are here to discuss some of the challenges faced by the LGBT community in Kenya. Recently, a documentary revolving around a gentleman called Samuel. The film is titled I Am Samuel and it highlights the problems, the challenges faced by gay men and women in Kenya. So, I'll allow my friend to introduce himself to you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm from Kenya, a place called Machakos. We have this Machakos University. Uh, there was stories like they are doing uh, masters in witchcraft. I just spoke about the documentary film, I Am Samuel. It highlighted uh, the challenges faced by Samuel right from when he was a child. He spoke about his father pressurizing him before he moved from his rural community to Nairobi. What can you say concerning this? I understand uh, Samuel's situation very much because it reminds me when I was growing up and I lost my parents when I was very young. When I lost my parents, uh, my uncle took care of me. Uh, there I joined a church so the church could support me, uh, pay my school fees, support me, uh, buy my clothes. It's like I was depending on the church. My uncle was still struggling, so he could not, he was not that much rich and he had his family as well. So, uh, I had to start the church, going to the church, where I could do, uh, I could play keyboard, I could wash the church. There, I started to forget the culture. You know, about 15 years, I was about 15 years. I was so much attracted, the boys. Yeah, so, and you could not tell, you know, you can't tell. I struggled 15 years, 16 years. Then I was like, no, it's not witchcraft. You know, I could see like, maybe it's witchcraft. Maybe, I don't know what was what happening with me. So I struggled. At about 20, 24 years, I realized that I'm in it. This is me. And I accepted who I am. That was just like the struggle in the I Am Summer uh, documentary because uh, at some point his father was uh, pressurizing him to get married. Uh, so he had to flee from his uh, village to Nairobi. Yeah, I yeah. think it happens. Uh, I think it happens to every community in Kenya, like there comes a time when the, your family is pushing you to what they want, not what you want. Was well, that your experience as well? Yes, because uh, myself, I was pushed as well to get married. Like you're getting old. You have to cooperate somehow. You have to show some interest. So Peter, I read in the review as well because this is because it's trending presently now yeah, yeah. concerning uh, Kenya and the LGBT community. Um, Samuel said, because you, you said something like your uncle is a working class man, mm -hmm. he's not that uh, financially uh, okay to yeah. be able to when you are growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, Samuel mentioned something like um, if he were rich. If you, were, if you were a son of a rich man, there would have been some sort of protection Very true. as a result of his uh, sexuality yeah. because he would be untouchable. But because he's from the lower class, That's true. Uh, people there are more aggressive, more violent. 
that he could not be protected. Yeah. What's your experience? That's true. If I was coming from a rich family, today I'll be in Kenya. Why is that? Because most of these attacks happens in ghetto areas, uh, those rural areas where maybe the government, they cannot even reach quickly. So it's like the common man has the power. One day or maybe something happened and then I'm, in, I'm caught. The Kenya is corrupt. Immediately I will get a backup from whoever police I, uh, handles me because you are from an affluent uh, family. Yes. Okay. Whatever he wants, I will give. All right. For for me to have freedom. Okay. Yeah. But if you are poor, that's the end of you. The people back home in Kenya is that keep fighting, we will get there. Countries like Botswana, they are trying to repeal this um, archaic anti-gay. In fact, in 2019, the High Court in Botswana said the anti-gay laws are unconstitutional. 2018. Uh, 2018, 2019, yeah, yeah is unconstitutional. Mm. Hopefully, Kenya will get there and other African countries as well. We hope so. We okay. hope so. We have a very beautiful country. But because of discrimination against the LGBT community, against LGBT community mm. you cannot be op live openly. Wow. So, Peter, um, this I Am Samuel documentary uh, will be released here in the UK on 3rd of June. But unfortunately, uh, the fear of the backlash back home is not good. The documentary will not be released in Kenya. What's your opinion about that? My opinion is if it were to be released in Kenya, yeah. it could have helped the general perception on how people seeing the LGBT community in Kenya. But the politicians... But the politicians, they cannot allow. Because they want to keep the people in darkness? Yes, of course. It could have changed a lot of Kenyan mentality. But I'm urging uh, all the Kenyans, you can watch it on your phones through YouTube, and maybe it's gonna change your perspective uh, against LGBT community. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. The, the, the opportunity uh, you and I have as members of the LGBT community in diaspora is that we have a platform, though. People, uh, members of the LGBT community back home cannot voice uh, out, but we are here in a safe country we can highlight the problems that members of the LGBT community in Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Ghana, all over Africa, the problem, we can highlight it, and this is a medium for them and for the entire world to see the problem that our people are facing back home. Um, for the general public in Kenya, you heard what Peter just said. Uh, the documentary is called I Am Samuel. It's going to be released on the 3rd of June in the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, it will not be uh, uh, released in Kenya, but you can watch it on your mobile phone. Go onto your YouTube after 3rd of June to watch it. It's going to change the perception of parents whose children are gay, lesbian, uh, pastors who are doing cleansing, uh, therapy and all those stuff it might change your opinion and we look forward to having feedback on this very video um, it's an opportunity for us members of the lgbt community here in united kingdom is a safe country we can highlight the problems that our people are facing back home in kenya uganda nigeria ghana all over africa we implore the government of these countries to tread the line of other countries like Botswana, uh, who are repealing archaic uh, uh, anti-LGBT laws. Uh, it's been nice having you on this uh, 
show, Peter. Thank you. We look forward to having you some other time. This is um, Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Keep watching, please comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification button so that you can receive notification about our latest videos. Thank you for watching. For those who have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to this channel to grow this YouTube channel for us. And uh, as you subscribe, we'll bring you more interesting videos. Thank you very much as you subscribe. See you next time. Bye.